Okay, I know I look ratchet as fuck right now, but I had to show you this because I thought it was hilarious. Is it raining yet? Okay, not really. Okay, so, okay, the back window of my car, it only closes halfway because I need to get it done. And look what I did with the garbage bag. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind? Um, not today. This one ain't fucking drifting because, um, yeah. So the entire back seat of my car got completely soaked. So, <laughs> that's nice. I'm here to tell you a story time today, not about that wretched train wreck that just happened. I don't really know. Okay, um, today, this is going to be a really quick one, but I just wanted to make a little video about it because it made me freaking laugh and this happened at work. So this isn't going to be some crazy elaborate story, like this is literally just a story of like some basic ass shit that made me laugh. So I'm at work, la -de 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 -de. oh, to give you a little bit of background, um, I'm currently working at a call center for, you know, I don't know, some company. And um, obviously I know what company, but um, I'm a tech and obviously not on the field because I wouldn't know what the fuck I was doing. But um, yeah, so you know, basically you could train a monkey to do my job. Anyways, moving on. So I'm on the phone with this guy and I'm not gonna lie, like a lot of people I work hate making small talk with customers. Like they're like, I fucking hate it. Like why should we have to make small talk with them? It never used to be something that our um, team leads wanted us to do it, but now apparently it is. I'm guessing all the fucking dead air. And yeah, and da -da 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 -da. anyways, so I was talking to this guy and we ended up talking about like how I'm going to Hawaii because like we were waiting for his boxes to like load up and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, how's your day, blah, blah, blah. We just started talking. And then he said something about like, oh, can't wait for New Year's Eve. And I'm thinking, the fuck, man? It's like August. All right, anyways, moving on. Um, and I was like, oh, well, pff, frig that. I'm not even gonna be here. Like, I'm planning on traveling and all this stuff like that. And he's like, oh, where are you going? I was like, oh, Hawaii. And, um, and he was like, oh, that's so cool. And like, I started talking to him about it and how like I have um, lived there for the last two years, like winter wise for, you know, several consecutive months, and he was like, oh my god, that's so cool, you should totally bring me with you. I was like, ha ha ha, because everyone fucking says they should bring me with them, like, you're right, let me just shove you in my suitcase. Um, and he said this with the most nonchalant voice ever. He was like, oh, he's like, well, he's like, well, you should bring me, like, um, like, I'll be your daddy. I was like, what? It's like, Honey, I already got a boy I call daddy at home, okay? Like, and it ain't my daddy. Let me tell you that. Um, alright. I'm just curious. Just tad curious here how <laughs> someone expects someone to react to that. I mean, I think maybe... I don't know if he was joking. Because he didn't say he was joking. <laughs> but that was legit my story for the day. I suck at story times. Don't worry. I'll get better. Um, I'm sorry. I just had to... Die had to tell you because like how fucking funny is that like someone literally calls in to the cable operator and <laughs> you tell them you can be their daddy <laughs> um all right this is a shit story time and i'm sorry but i didn't know how else to title this like customer at work wants to be my daddy like, yeah, but a story time is so much better than that. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm sorry. I'll make up for this with a lot better other ones. Um, my life actually isn't crazy exciting, but I still will tell you stories about my life, even though they're not crazy. Um, they're still pretty fucking fun, though. That was my day. You know, going to work, nonchalant, blah dee 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 Apparently, I have almost two daddies now. What's happening here? No, I don't. Don't worry, Curtis. I love you, babe. Don't. Um, yeah. <laughs> if only he saw me. I'd be like... They just don't want to be my daddy. That was my quickie for the day. Um, if you call into your cable operator, please don't ever suggest to be their daddy. Ever. Because what? <laughs> and yeah, that was about it. So I'm sorry to disappoint if I did, but um, yeah, so. <laughs> sorry to disappoint if that was a little waste of your time, but it honestly made me laugh. And I wanted to pass that along in hopes to maybe make you laugh and make you have that realization that you should never, ever, ever, ever do that, okay?
you know, girls don't go calling in that you're gonna be like, oh, so, can you troubleshoot my cable box? Sure, okay, um, what's the problem? Um, there's no problem. I just, you know, wanna be your mommy, your daddy. What, what, what in the butt? No, no, no. Put it for today, catch you later.